one of my personal horse. Um, so I have a Percheron, a huge uh, draft horse. We also use about half a dozen of those for our training program. Some of these horses are our personal <coughs> horses. The two pictures on that first slide is Lori on her horse and I'm on mine. And then uh, some of them belong to our boarders, so obviously we don't use those in our program. Additionally, we have a clubhouse, we have a jump arena, we have a dirt arena, we have two round pens, we have two grass arenas. Our equitherapy program uses the clubhouse, the dirt arena, the, one of the round pens when it runs its programs. We have two trainers teaching throughout the day and boarders that come and use the facility's infrastructure whenever they want. It may not seem like 100 acres would be limiting. But these issues cause significant capacity issues as crit at critical times. During wet weather conditions, like the last month, our capacity shrinks <clears throat> even more because we can't use things like our grass arenas because they're slippery. None of our training areas are currently covered, unfortunately, because that's expensive. It costs uh, about $150,000 to cover an arena. Except for the dirt arena, which I have a 100 by 100 foot tarp, blue tarp, <clears throat> that we put out just like a baseball arena, or a baseball field. The water drains off the arena and then we pull the tarp back and rake it to get it to dry out. I and mean, we just did that yesterday. This means that when it rains a lot, our only, our only usable training area is that one dirt arena. That's it. So what would you do? people doing a lot of things with a lot of infrastructure and a lot of horses. What do I need? What is like one of the most important things I need? A schedule. A schedule that everybody can see. A schedule that everybody can update. I need visual management. I need visual control. When Stephanie Hero comes out to work her horse, and that horse is involved in training, she has just wasted her time driving all the way from Upper Canyon Lake down to our farm. Because she can't work with a horse because it's busy. When Dustin, <laughs> who has a tendency to do this, he's 30 years old and he likes to do this, jumps on a horse and rides it bareback around in the fields, <laughs> only to find out that that horse is going to be used in five um, consecutive training sessions later that day, that's not good. Because that horse is now tired. He's ridden him all over the property like John Wayne. <laughs> and trust me, he does this. He loves to do it. But we're like, Dustin, check the board. You can't do that, check the board. I don't care if you get on a horse because that's part of the perks of working on our property. But you gotta make sure that that horse is not gonna be used for training or something else so that you're out gallivanting on 100 <laughs> acres and they're going, where's Juno? <clears throat> and he's out buying Juno in the sunset. <laughs> so those, that's like one of the most important things when you have a capacity situation. 